My name is Adrian Marchetti and I'm Associate Professor in Marine Sciences Department at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill. The challenge that we're trying to solve in the Galapagos is by investigating the marine ecosystem in that our group is particularly interested in phytoplankton. These are microscopic algae and bacteria that live in the surface of the ocean. So phytoplankton actually produce about half of the oxygen we breathe and are at the base of the marine food chain. And so what that means is that they're food for zooplankton, which then are being fed upon by smaller fish, which are fed upon by larger fish, and that energy works its way up the food chain to support all the very charismatic animals that we know and love in the Galapagos, including the sharks, sea lions, sea turtles, and even the Galapagos penguins. So the key questions that we're asking with our research in the Galapagos is how does the ocean environment, and when it changes, how does that influence phytoplankton distributions and abundance? So the Galapagos Islands themselves are at the forefront of El Nino events. And during El Nino cycles, the oceans warm up considerably, which influences the nutrient flow to the surface waters, and thus will influence phytoplankton growth and productivity. And so as the oceans change, we need to understand how that will influence phytoplankton that then will influence all these other organisms. The major impacts of climate change in our ocean environments are typically associated with warming seawater conditions. And so the El Nino cycles that we actually investigate in the Galapagos can be used as a natural laboratory for us to then predict what might happen as our oceans warm in relation to climate change. The Galapagos Science Center is a home base for us to be able to conduct our research. We use the Galapagos Science Center to help us prepare for our field expeditions for which we actually collect samples to look at phytoplankton distributions in the waters around the Galapagos. And to do this, we have a very close collaboration with the Galapagos National Park, which we use their research vessels in order to be able to survey different parts of the Galapagos. We then take those samples back to the GSC where we use the equipment in modern labs of the Marine Ecology Lab and the Molecular Lab to process our samples before heading back to UNC where we then use the high throughput sequencing facility at UNC in order to sequence our uh, samples and really gain an understanding of how the phytoplankton are influenced by these changes in the ocean that we observe.